வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் த பேசிக் வியூஸ் தட் இஸ் பேசிக் ஒன் அண்ட் பேசிக் டூ வியூஸ் அண்ட் கிளாஸிஃபிகேஷன் வியூஸ் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் அண்ட் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் வாட் ஆர் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் So here I am not asking material types in SAP, generally met different types of materials used in business. So there are raw materials, components, semi-finished goods, finished goods, production resource tools, spares, packaging material, consumables, etc. What are the different organization levels a company, uh, sorry, a metal master can be maintained? So here we discussed the metal master can be maintained in client level, plant level and the store location level. at client level general metal data that is valid for the whole company is stored at plant level data that is valid within the plant and applied for all store locations is saved data in store location level where the data is valid for a particular store location is stored and then we discuss about what are the Uh, i mean metal master is used by planning and purchasing departments only true or false it is false because metal master is used by almost all departments like sales purchase planning warehouse quality design accounting and costing what are the important parameters in purchasing view because we are discussing mm course i just put this question here so here we are having purchasing unit of measure that is there is a basic unit of measure purchasing is a different unit of measure that we can maintain purchasing group is maintained and also the purchasing value key where we define uh, the over delivery tolerance under delivery tolerance all those parameters the remainders those things are maintained in purchasing value key which is the mandatory for in-house production items see there are many views which are required but which is the mandatory if this view is not there we cannot to, uh, do the in-house production that is a work scheduling view similarly which view is mandatory for sales item so there may be other views but if it is not there we cannot sell it it is sales view similarly we cannot purchase the material if there is no purchasing view so it is a purchasing view so these things are the the uh, basic views no the fundamental views which you need to understand so let us discuss on basic views and the classification views here you can see how we are progressing in the course for until we complete the metal master discussion we will refer this chart to refer which are all the views we are discussing so that you will be uh, correlating that uh, which view we are discussing whether it is organization dependent independent those kind of understanding will be clear that is why we will refer this chart always now we are going to discuss basic one and two and classification views in this session and now we will be going to discussing about metal master basic data in metal master basic data there are two views basic data one and basic data two these two are plant independent views this means if a company is having 10 plants or if a client is having 10 company codes if a metal master is defined and its details in the basic data 1 and 2 will remain the same in all company codes and also in all the plant codes so here the basic data views do not require a plant or sales organization after creating basic data metal codes can be extended to any plant within the client across company codes to extend other views like uh, mrp view sales view purchase view any other view please note if someone changes the details in basic data it will affect every plant in the client I mean the master data in available in every plant so utmost care has to be taken while creating basic data views and giving authorization to create the metal master metal master there are two views basic data 1 basic data 2 as we are seeing here now let us see individual fields in these two views in the coming so uh, time first is the metal description so this is the metal code uh, we are entering while creating the metal master or there is option to create by the system itself here we are assuming that we entered the metal code so we can see the metal code there so when we enter into the system we have to enter the metal description so metal description is the short description of the material 
it is having 40 characters length. So because it is only 40 characters, uh, best practice has to be established to define a metal monster in a logical sequence with the proper abbreviations. We should not uh, define the metal within 40 characters and later we should not find it difficult to understand what is that metal core, what is the description like that. So it is better to define a policy for this. Next is basic unit of measure. This is unit of measure in which metal will be handled. This is basic unit of measurement only. There are different unit of measurements may be there. For example, for purchasing there may be another unit of measurement. For production there may be another unit of measurement or for sales there may be another measurement. So all these things will be defined in additional data view. So from the basic data itself on the top, it is not shown here. On the top, if you click, there is additional button. So when I click that, we can go and define the basic unit of, sorry, the alternate unit of measure details. And then there is a material group. Material group is when we have different materials or services with the same attributes, they can be grouped together and that can be defined here. This is used as one of the selection parameters and various parameters to restrict the report results to a specific group. And division is there. Division is to distinguish a different types of distribution channel. Each metal can be assigned to only one division. So please be uh, clear about it, one division only. Primarily, uh, this is defined at a SD organization level. And uh, the division allows a company to organize the sales structure to work with groups of similar materials. The next is the uh, cross plant metal status. Here we see it as X plant. It is a cross plant metal status. It is status of material which is common for all the plants. For example, when a metal has become obsolete or when it has become slow moving or we have to maintain some, you know, the goods receipt has to be stopped or warning has to be given like that there are some restriction with respect to material and if it is applicable to all the plants and all the company codes in the organization then here we can maintain it so based on this we can restrict some processor like we may not allow creating purchase order or we may not allow create a production order we may not allow do any transactions or we may not be able to do some goods issue all these things we can define based on the status if we want to define something specific to plant or specific to sales or, or something to define the uh, status of the material this can be done in the respective views but whatever we define here it is applicable to all the companies it's applicable to all the uh, other functions also then we have product hierarchy product hierarchy is used in sd area for analysis and price determination this is alphanumeric character so level one level two have uh, five characteristics and level three has eight characteristics this is defined using transaction called VBAR 76. This is defined by uh, sales and distribution team. Next, we have general item category group. This allows the system to automatically generate an item type in the sales document when it is created. Next, we have dimensions and EANs details. Here, the gross weight, net weight, volume, dimensions of material, EAN, UPC details are entered. The weight, dimensions and volume are used for transportation planning. EAN, UPC course, uh, may be mandatory or statutory in some countries. And then we have basic data text. When I click and go into this, we can describe a long text of metal description because the metal description, what we saw in the beginning, you know, that is having a restricted 40 characters. Here we can give a detailed description about the material. And also we can mention what is the language which are using there. Then coming to basic data two view. So here we have a field called basic material. This allows to group the material being entered under another material. So this is just to group the materials. It is used for some customization reports. It doesn't have any major, uh, it doesn't have any specific control functions. And then we have a design drawing tab in which various fields here are there like a document type, document version, page number, etc. So uh, any material which is having some documents like drawing or some other specific details, those documents can be attached to metal master through this uh, uh, tab so these will serve as integration point between mm and dms document alignment system now apart from these two views uh, when you are in the metal master you can use a tab called additional data where we can enter a lot of additional parameters and these are all linked as a basic views so these are all common to all the plans in the organization 
so here the first is uh, the description for example if uh, a company is running in different countries so in different languages then the description can be different different languages for example here there is a metal bearing which is defined in english in the basic uh, metal description but if you want to give it in german french or spanish we can use this field so when the users are logging into their own language they will see that description and then unit of measurement tip we can uh, tab we can give different alternate unit of measurements for example this bearing in one cotton we can keep 24 pieces that is a thing we can give so this will be used Maybe when you are purchasing, we can buy in number of cottons or when you are selling them in number of cottons if you are selling them, you can use this unit of measurement, alternate unit of measurement. In document tab, any documents what we require, we can maintain the version here, what is the latest version, all the documents can be attached, more than one document can be attached so that these documents can be attached when you are releasing purchase order to the suppliers. That is also possible when we maintain the documents here. So it is facilitating no handling the documents so when we keep on updating these documents properly this will help to avoid any uh, uh, the old version materials are uh, you know, uh, produced so every time if we create i mean if we customize into the system that these documents are getting attached so the, the purchase order the production order will release it the drawing can be attached to those orders so the person who is doing the job will be updated with the updated drawing and then additional EAN tabs, for example, there may be different EAN can be used in different countries. So all these things can be maintained here with respect to the different unit of measurements. Next, we will discuss classification view. A classification view contains what is the class type we are going to use, what are all the class we are going to apply in this uh, classification view, and what are all the values we are going to maintain there. So what is class type? Class type is the concept for classification system. This class type determines how the classes are processed and how objects can be classified and retrieved in these classes. For example, a class type may be used as material class or it may be used for batch management or it may be used for configuration purpose or it may be used for variant purpose like the different purposes that are. In customizing, we can define the settings for a class type you can define the class type for specific object like what I discussed now. So now let us stop with this and uh, regarding the further classification details, when we go on to the specific topic later, at that time we'll discuss in detail. Now you have to understand this basic point. Then we have the class which is assigned to this classification and also what are the values maintained for the characteristic assigned to this class. So here we see class and the values. I can assign the class here respective characteristics will be there and for each characteristics depending on the class type what we are using we have to assign the values for characteristics in this session we will discuss in detail various fields in basic one and basic two views and classification view so it is time to see some quiz questions what is the number of characteristics in the middle description if you need to add more details about material description, which field is used? What is material group? Can we def define different units of measurement for a material? Can we define description of a material in different languages? Where do we maintain a material's weight and dimensions details? Can we add documents about a material? If a material has become slow moving or obsolete, how can we control it through Metal Master? What is a class type? So these are the questions for this session. We'll see the answers in the next session. After discussing basic views and classification views, we will discuss how to manage Metal Master in the next session. Like how to create material, change material, those kind of things so that you can start practicing whatever you are learning in this course. Meanwhile, please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents of our course. And also please suggest your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel so that they can also get the benefit. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye. Take care.